Okay, welcome back to Wake Up America. Sorry about that. Today is World Down Syndrome Day, officially observed by the United Nations since 2012 on the 21st day of the third month to signify the uniqueness of the triplication of the 21st chromosome, which causes Down Syndrome. This year's theme, with us, not for us. And with us today, en route to speaking at the United Nations, are the co-founders and uh, chief happiness officers of John's Crazy Socks, Mark and John Cronin. Thank you so much for joining us today, gentlemen. Mark, you are are heading to the United Nations. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, this is awfully exciting, right, buddy? <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. I'm going to the United Nations. That is so exciting. That is great. We, it's a very important day because we get to celebrate people with Down syndrome. People like John, right? Absolutely. You have Down syndrome? Yes, I am. And what do you say about it? I have Down syndrome. Down syndrome never hold me back. I love that. It, you, you talk about never holding you back, so... You were in high school, and you got out, and you said, you know what, I, there isn't a job I want. And you said to your dad, Dad, I want to start a business with you. I want to work with you. So talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, I right? You couldn't find a job you wanted. Yeah. John's a natural entrepreneur. Yes, I am. So what would you say? I said, I, 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 I want to create one. I want to make one. And I told, I, I, and I told my, my father... Um, I, I want to finish with him and my father and finish, finish together. And, and when did we start that business? We started at, at back in 2016. Wow. So you've been in business for a while, Mark, and you, you've been, you've won the EY um, Entrepreneurs Award. You've testified before Congress. Uh, your socks have gone, I mean, everybody's talking about your socks. Well, how many different socks do we have, John? We have four. 4,000. socks. That means John owns the world's largest sock store. Yes. That is exciting. But but that's only the beginning. Yeah. Right? When you buy from us, you're going to get great socks, right? But you help us employ people with different abilities. More than half of our colleagues have a different ability. You help us give back, right? Absolutely. We've donated almost $600,000 to our charity partners. And most of all, you're going to help us... A spread... Happiness. Spread happiness. That is, you know, I think that's that's the main message here. And the fact that, you know, father, son can work together, that has to be difficult. But also just the potential. And I think Americans need to understand, you know, working with, with the children or adults with special needs is it's a it's an amazing opportunity as well. And I think that you're changing the stigma of what you do. Well, that's what we want to show. Every day we want to show what's possible. We want to show that hiring people with differing abilities is not altruism. It's good business. And you know, one of the things we want people to think about, never be blinded by a person's limitations. Be awed by their possibilities. Look what John can do. Right? There's when so many from, possibilities. You know, when he was a young man, John couldn't talk. You learn sign language so you can communicate. Now he's a public speaker. Testified before Congress, going to speak at the UN, and leads the world's largest sock store. How awesome! That is amazing. You also, so you share um, a former president. Your sock buddies with a former president. Who are yeah. you so sock buddies with? Uh, and George H. W. Bush. What's that like? That's that's pretty cool. I, I'm I'm very happy, and I, I it's my idea. I want to send him. A, 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 I want to give him a box of socks. He sent the former president socks. The former president sent John socks. <laughs> so it was very touching, right? You like that. I love that. Yeah. What has the response been just from the community? I know your business has been open, but especially since you know, you've, you've gotten attention, you're, you've testified before Congress. Uh, talk about what people have been saying to you. We have very um, strong and loyal supporters because we're not just selling socks. At the end of the day, we're not really a sock store. The socks become the physical mm -hmm. manifestation for the story and the message. And that's what people are supporting. And we hear that all the time. Yesterday, we spoke in Florida. At a, we were keynote speakers at a luncheon. And people are just moved because they get to see what's possible. They get to see what John's doing. And they come up, they want photos. And then they tell other people, so we keep spreading the word, spreading happiness, 
<laughs> and showing yeah. what's possible. And I, I don't think we, we got to the main point. Socks, why socks? Why did you decide to, to start a sock company? Uh, why socks is fun, it's colorful, it's creative. Yeah. It is always let me be me. I will create that my whole life. It was his idea. I love it. And we figured if John loved these socks that much, surely other people would too. Absolutely. We could find our tribe. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Good luck speaking at the United Nations. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story with us. And where can people find yeah, you? you? Where can I, 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 you can find us at johnscreatysocks.com. And good morning, America! All right. <laughs> we love that. Thank you so much, Mark and thank John. You. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. And plenty more still to come. I'm